I think my style, you either win big or you, you lose big. If I'm not trying to attack, if I'm not trying to finish, I'm not constantly looking to score, I'm losing. And that's one thing that I think separates me from some of those guys in the top five, top ten, but I go out there and I'm constantly looking to finish and I get caught. Right. You know, I'll, I'll get tired, it's usually towards the end of the fight, push the action for first two rounds and the third round I get caught. Right. So it's kind of been like my MO, my, my, I guess my cross to bear. There were a lot of notes and a lot of gaps and a lot of things I, I was able to fix and learn from that fight. And, you know, I think getting, getting overzealous, I saw that I had him hurt. I saw him quit. The, he had quit in his eyes. He was, ra he was waiting for the rep to step in. I, he had just lost all life in his face. And I was just going in for the finish. And dang, if that just one punch wouldn't have just landed. But, uh, you know, keep your hands up, chin down. Don't need to go in for the kill. Just keep picking them apart. Eventually, they'll go down. Don't look for the finish. Work for the finish. This is a good fight for me. Um, I didn't really have too many options as far as opponents go. It was, you know, when, when working with the UFC, it's like, it's take this or leave it. And I like the fact that I had more than three weeks to prepare. If you look at my, my past few losses in the UFC, if you look at all my losses under the Zufa banner, 3L5 had been on short notice. No more short notice fights. I like, I like the matchup. I like the MGM. I'm undefeated at the MGM. So I'm looking to make it 3-0 uh, at the MGM. I really like fighting in Vegas. It, the climate's very similar. The travel time, it doesn't mess with my diet, my nutrition, and I feel really confident having a training camp underneath my belt. I know I can go 15 minutes.